On most First Nation reserves in Canada, there's a very high unemployment rate. On the other hand, we know that there's a huge demand for skilled labor that is currently unmet. So we've got unemployed people and jobs. Why aren't these two getting together? The reason is there hasn't been a bridge. There hasn't been a step-by-step -step process to join them. That's what Change It Up Trades is. The formal program begins in the Change It Up classroom. That looks different than a regular classroom because it's individual focused and it's competency focused. We're giving people the essential skills that they need for success at college and then at work. Programs I've seen in the past have not really worked because they don't have what we have in this program, which is a constant follow-up that is required for our people to succeed. So taking unemployed people to employment is very, very challenging and it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be. So we need to have a consistent program where we can get our people trained. That's what the industry is all about right now, is trades. Portage College has been an amazing partner in the Change It Up Trades program. Students come here for the third phase and it's all about the last part of prepping them to write their trades entrance exam give them some additional hands-on experience and make sure they are ready to work. At Portage College we have four uh, apprenticeship-based labs. Uh, we are presently in the steam fitter pipe fitter lab. We are presently in Portage College's carpentry lab. We can handle 16 apprentices at a time in this lab. We take them right from framing on up to finishing. This is the college's welding lab. Uh, students come here to polish up their hand skills to go into well-paying jobs in industry. Our Change It Up students find this a very popular and very uh, rewarding program. What makes this program unique, I think, are a couple of little factors. The first one is the focus on essential skills or what they call competencies, a relatively new field as compared to the standard or traditional upgrading program. Another thing that makes it quite unique is the focus on employing an individual, following them from beginning to end, providing support, and also allowing for second chances if a student has not performed well the first time around, that problem is analyzed and they're given a second chance later. So when I came from my orientation, I had a little bit of attitude on me and that was a mistake I made. Everybody makes mistakes, but here I am my second time and I'm doing way better than I was the first time. I'm succeeding and this is something I am really, really want as a career, as a long-term goal. Right? So now we've completed the in-community portion of the Change It Up Trades program. The students have gone to college and they have passed the trades entrance exam. And now it's time to get to work. I was doing minimum wage jobs or nothing until now. I got this job. I actually like this job. It's a small environment. I actually like coming to work. Change It Up has benefited me and I think it should keep going because other people would benefit from it in the future. The biggest problem in our province today is lack of people working. There's roughly 13,000 people out in the First Nations and it's an untapped resource. The Change Up program, it bridges the gap between where the people are at now to where they need to be when I can hire them. Change It Up Trades has had a big impact in my life. It has helped me obtain my Blue Book and find a company that is willing to apprentice me. It would really benefit a lot of people on a reservation that want to get into the trades that don't really know how to go about it. Change It Up has changed my life. It feels good to be independent and self-sufficient and to provide for myself and for my family, which I haven't been able to do for a while. I feel like a positive role model for my kids and especially for my daughter to show her that it is possible that you can do whatever you want if you try. This might look like a big empty space, but it's actually a room full of promise. Imagine a hundred or more people here every day, learning, getting skills, getting training. Experience working, showing up every day and doing a good job. That's what this place can be. What we need is a social enterprise a business that makes money, makes profit, and uses that profit to train and employ people. It's an amazing vision, but we need help. We need you. We need partners, we need supporters, we need resources. Please help join us. We can make this vision a reality. Thank you.